going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fobs of News, man. Hashtag Fobs of News. Today we've got 34 PC mods and testing. We got 31 console mods and testing. With all those 21 mods were released today. It's day three of the Giants Advent calendar. CNH Mining have new details on the Outlaw. LR Mining have a new John Deere sprayer. White Bull Mining show off not one but two new mods. JA Mining updates us on his John Deere tractor. Blue talks about their new Holland T5. Custom Mining have released the PC version of the 49. 40. Slusha's Mining teases a new mod. Black Eyes Mining are still testing their new map. Plus, Shaba's got some new factories, I think. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have advanced stats. Car trailer. Christmas market beverages. Christmas market gingerbread. Cutting bar set. Dabnica. John Deere 2400. John Deere 650. Joskin Tornado 3. Kamaz 55102. Keyboard steering. Chrome Comprima F155 XC. Linear distributor. Lizard 3000. Lizard 432060 loader crane. Lizard MK Silo. Lizard NS 900H. Lizard Rumbler Van. Lumberjack. Medium pull through work. Workshop with Lifter, Modern Polish Stable, New Holland T5 Utility Series, we're going to talk about this later, New Holland 120 Car, Old Wooden Shed, Petro Farm Cell Station, Pulsai, Refurbished Bunker Silo, Cedar, Silos Veronesi, Stockman, TLX 9000 Semi Truck Back and Testing, Triple Axle Toy Hauler, Euro 432060 Loader Crane, and the Ursus C4011. In testing for consoles, we have the Alpine Cow Barn, Brick House, Cargo XK18, Christmas Pack, Crescetto Pack, Barn House, Goldcrest Valley Chicken Pit, Harrow House Pack, International Trans Star Back in Testing, ITS Winter Pack, John Deere 8000 Container Carrier, John Deere 8760-8960, John Deere Ripper 2100, Crone Comprima F155 XC, Large Shed, Lizard 2000, Lizard 5105 Brazil, Lizard LK Series, Lizard Rumbler Van, Massey Ferguson 700, Modular BGA System, NMC U Blade, Petro Farm Gas Station, Caesars Geo with Wither Farms, Shed 15x19, Trophy Beef, Two Story House Pack, Blue Mountain Valley, West Newton Farm, and Wooden Dog House. With all that being said, we still have 37 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is two work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 21 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing off 20 of these, and there is one that was not on the list because it came out a little bit later than the other ones. The Mamut SC240 XL is going to be something that goes on the front of a wheel loader and will hold bells in place. Today is the 3rd of December, meaning that this is the third day for the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar. Today, they're giving away a Farming Simulator FS baseball hat, a set of squishy toys, and as well as a children's t-shirt in royal blue with a tractor on it. There's eight ways to enter today. Of course, you can put in visit their Gleam. You can also join their Discord, visit them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, Visit the Farming Simulator Instagram page. Visit their homepage website. You can also follow Giants on Twitch or Giants Software German DE on Twitch as well. CNH Modding has added some new details through to their Outlaw truck. He said, don't worry about the brighter tan color that you see on there. It will be invisible, and the only thing that will be left will be the black color around it. This is a pretty nice thing that they've got right here. But they say, if you think the outside looks good, just wait until you see the interior. They say this is going to be one of those mods that you're not going to be able to decide whether you want to play in first person or third person. They've got a lot going on here with going interior gauges, button layouts, and all that fun stuff as well. They're currently working on that right now. CNH Modding concludes to say that they've got a few more things to go, as, such as chassis and substance, painter magic, things like that. And they're going to be trying to get this in our hands by Christmas time. Someone we haven't heard from in a long time, LR Modding and their 4830 John Deere Sprayer American version. They say it's coming into assembly, so stay tuned. Will it go to console? Winky face. White Bull Modding have a few things for us today. They say that their WBM Diamond 2000 is almost ready. Just need some aesthetic touches. You can expect this as an early Christmas gift. Also, have you seen the preview for it? I will link the video preview in the description below. In addition to that, they've got a new mod. They say this is the Loader Wagon Class Quantum 3800K. Say coming soon to Mod Hub for all platforms. And these times we've got a lot of time for new mods because of their quarantine. They say that they're trying to make as many mods as possible in a very short amount of time. And they want to thank us for all the support. Here's something that we haven't seen in a while. JA Mining and their John Deere 5070 small tractor. 
They say, do you think we forgot about it? Dead or alive, here it is. Looks like we've got some new features here as well, including front loader. We've also got a way to open up the front hood, rear weights or narrow tires, however, plus an open cab. Beautiful, beautiful tractor. Once more information is released about this, I'll keep you guys updated. You may have seen the Blue Augen Modding New Holland T5 Utility Series in testing today, or Blue uh, as they are known on the end game. I'll have what they say. Unfortunately, the T5 Utility Series did not pass PC testing, came back for review. It came back with a lot of stuff, so I'm assuming this is a little bit late. Maybe they got everything figured out and everything is good, but wanted to let you guys know about this just in case. A little while ago, Customoning released the John Deere 4940 Self Propelled Sprayer update for console players, and today they bring us the PC update. So now PC players will be able to enjoy this as well. So for as far as the self propelled sprayer goes, they've added all brands of Firestone, Goodyear, and New Leader as well. Section control, so you've got that 120 foot boom. John Deere or New Leader uh, colors, decals, and options on the dry box. Starfire 3000 options, 10 different tire options, four wheel independent dynamic suspension, and tons and tons more. They've also released their Titol tank trailer. They have rim color and manure system support for that. They say this tank is exclusive for PC, but in the future, maybe it could reach consoles. And they also have their AG Spray Cone Bottom Nurse trailer. They say real brand, Honda brand, only engine, 5,000 or 6,000 gallon capacity, frame color, tank color, and manure system. If you want to download these, you can find the links at the Custom Modding Facebook page. Solutions Modding tease a new mod today. They say they're working on something new again. Soon, there will be a new mod here. Well, what can we see from this picture that maybe gives it away? Well, I'm seeing a truck in the front that we already have was removed from the Mod Hub, I believe. Uh, but we see a new logging trailer. This, I don't think we have this a game. I've been looking around. I can't find it anywhere. So maybe this is it. Possibly even a tandem trailer as well. That might be pretty cool. Black Eyes Official tease their map again. They say, let's unload some rice at the mill. We can face sunglasses. Oh, yeah. So what are we seeing here? Well, we're seeing them unloading rice. DJ, rice isn't in the game. Correct. They've been working on a map for a while now. A uh, new Italian map. They've been working on this map for quite a few months as it is right now. We saw it in game at least a couple teasers, maybe two months ago, but we're getting small little teasers here and there. We also get to see one of their Sammy tractors that they're working on right now. I do believe this failed testing was not on the testing list today, so hopefully we should see not only this tractor, but this map soon. And lastly today, we hear from Shaba. They say, coming soon, as you can see on there, the, we have something in Spanish, I believe. Well, this basically translates to seed production. So not only do we know yesterday that we are getting Hagenstead and Westbridge Hills, which are going to be factory ready. Those updates have been sent into Giants for testing for all platforms, which is super cool. But it looks like we're going to be getting some new productions soon. So that is pretty darn cool. In addition to that, Vanquish081 released a new video yesterday showing off the John Deere Container Carrier and the International Transtar. But in that, we saw this right here, which looks to be pellet production. I know they had worked on something similar to this in a different way, and it was PC only a couple months ago. So maybe they figured out how to do this on console as well. Looks like they're putting either your hay or chaff in and getting out possibly pellets, which would be pretty sweet. In addition to that, we see the John Deere 8000 container hook. As you can see, this is going to be a forage harvester. It is a forage harvester on the front with a permanently attached IT runner trailer in the back of it. This is going to be one of a kind. It's at one of a kind and super unique. And lastly, we see Raul's International Transstar 2 version 2. As you know, this was uh, removed from the Mod Hub from all platforms a couple weeks ago because someone claimed the interior. Well, it has been completely redone from the ground up. We've got a new truck. It is in testing right now. Very, very much so looking forward to this. But unfortunately, something I don't look forward to is the end of these videos. It stinks. Links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods. Myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.
Oh, I got a thing. Channel members, watch your sub boxes.